Hi, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. Today we're looking at the S&P index and um, in particular we're looking at the daily chart. Now we looked at this recently because the bull trend that we've seen all year was approaching the top of two channels which I thought would offer decent return resistance. I was looking for some kind of consolidation correction lower at this point. Uh, and that's what we've seen. So what are we now going to be looking at? Well, usually when you fall at the top of a channel, the market does tend to react towards the base of the channel. And in this particular ca case, the base of the first channel is at 4390. And it coincides pretty well with the 55 day moving average at 4408. So that's your first area of key support. Now, is that going to hold or not? Well, I don't really know. Uh, it should hold. Uh, it's good support. Uh, I do tend to want to look down at things like the RSI to give me some kind of further information on whether I think a market will hold at a certain level. Uh, and this is already down towards 40. So it's it's heading lower. It's, it's managed to uh, correct any sort of overbought condition. So it, there's a good chance that we could hold around this first, the bottom of this first channel. However, should it not do so, then it will head down, unfortunately, towards the space of the second channel, uh, which comes in currently nearer to 4,134. And you will see again that this is well supported by the moving average. The blue line is the 200 day moving average. And that comes in at 4112. So that's your first level you need to watch around 4385. And if it doesn't hold, we are going to see further slippage towards the 200 day moving average. Thanks very much.